Hey everybody, welcome back. We are getting ready to listen to some more music. This one is Peter Hollins, and I got excited when I saw the title because I instantly thought of Fievel. And so the song is Somewhere Out There, and he's singing with Tara Simon. And I know Tara Simon from watching her do reactions and break down some of the music and tell us some of the stuff that they're doing and what was smart about doing this or that, you know, that kind of stuff. I also know that Tara Simon and Jay Nunn uh, work together doing coaching, uh, singing coaching, vocal coaching. So I know that she's connected to voice play in that way. So when I saw her name being the guest for this song, I thought, oh, cool. I'll get to see her in action. So let's go ahead and get to it and see what they did with it and think about somewhere out there. <laughs> and it looks like we're not going to see Tara because it looks like they've done a cartoon because we've got a little mouse here looking at the moon. They can't do the actual Fievel, though. Copyright and all. Are you going to lay down? Sounds like he's got a... Um, I don't know if it's a cello or a viola. I think it's a viola. I almost said an oboe also. There's some deep notes in there though. I think what I'm thinking is the oboe is actually them humming together. Um, but there's definitely either a cello or a viola, but I think it's a viola. And one cello. They answered it for us. She's got a very beautiful voice. I think I saw she might have commented on this or might have seen it somewhere else. But uh, she was on one of the singing shows, I believe. In comes Peter. Somewhere out there, someone saying a prayer that we'll find one another in that big somewhere out there. And even though it's very beautifully done. And their tones are for the song are matching very well. Out there. And even though I know how very far apart we are, it helps to think we might be wishing on the same bright star. And when the night wind starts to sing a lonesome lullaby, it helps to think we're. I was trying to remember as I was reading the lyrics, um, remembering the lyrics. I was trying to remember in the in the movie, 
if I think when he's seeing this, he's singing about his family and missing his family and saying that his family is somewhere out there um, wishing upon the same big bright star that he is. I don't think it's a love interest. I, I think it's his family, but I'm not positive on that. It's been forever since I watched the movie. Oh, they got the movie in there. Bible Maskowitz. And even though I know how very far apart we are, it helps to. You can hear um, a bit of tremble in her vibrato. I don't know how else to describe it, but it. It's a bit of a tremble where you don't really expect there to be. It sounds good. Just noticing. Oh, how very far apart we are. It helps to think we might be wishing on the same bright star. And when the night wind starts to sing a lonesome lullaby, it helps to think we're sleeping underneath the same big sky. Long note. Very long note. What is about 10 seconds? Already started it, so longer than 10 seconds. Started on the 32. No, 10 seconds. So it must have gone just a little bit further than I just stopped it. So that's a long note. 10 seconds is a long time when you're relying on your breath. Before I go ahead and start it and listen to the end of whatever Peter says, beautifully done. I like the pacing of it. I like the trade-off. Their tones, like I mentioned, matched very well. And I liked the way they did the backgrounds. Um, they had a lot of the open mouthed Oz and, uh, well, I think it was more Oz than O's even. But it wasn't, it was very relaxed sound, very warm sounding. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> Uh, the, the harmonies and the layering in the background were very nice. So. She is a phenomenal teacher and helped me through some really rough vocal stuff the last uh, year. So apparently she was helping him get through some of his vocal troubles that he's had in the last year. So um, I think we... I don't think I've posted any of those videos yet where he talks about it, but I'm glad he's, it sounds like he's feeling better and getting more on track for what he's used to for himself and wanting to do. So thank you everybody for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.